It's uh, the first round we go. In the blue corner, wearing the claret and blue of West Ham, Billy Rickies, Jules Lidard. Oh. Just as he's about to introduce a man in the red corner, Bas Oosterweigel. Just lands a nice check left foot. Yeah, really impressive Lidard so far in his free contest. To say all. William with inside the distance, he's on the front foot again, working the body, changing the levels with the shots. He's been impressive, hasn't he? Barry lit up. Oh, the jab's lovely, isn't it? Look at that, real solid. He's just, he's just a real hat, little the stab with the front foot when he jabs, and that's where all the weight comes from. And Austin Vale here is just struggling a little bit with that jab, and even he did that with his own little whipping left hook. See his face already red in there from that solid left hand and those straight right hands. You say Barry as well, the, the movement after, whether it's your feet or your head, and it's been so impressive with Lidard. You see, he lets his hands go, he slips to the left, he slips to the right, and then he fires back, he makes a miss, and he fires back with counters. So impressive. He did it then, he threw the jab then, just to put the shoulder on the, sh on, on the shoulder of Altevego, then he came back with the right hand. Well scored and yeah. heavy handed. Yep, yeah, heavy handed for sure. Dangerous combo. <laughs> Nice link. Yeah, back on the ropes, just glides to his left, back to centre ring, clever stuff. Mr. Vagel trying to fight back with his own shots. I say he's a bit of an aggressive fighter himself, more of a counter puncher on the front foot. He has to draw out the lead. Yeah, that's not going to work there. No, it? it won't. The Lidad who has one heavier hands, but also better timing and judgment the distance. Look at that. Beautiful jab, lovely spearing jab. That follows it up with a right hook, goes down, back down to the body. You see the variation. It's covering up well, though. Used to be the It's been a hard round, hasn't it, Tim? Straight off the bat. Solid punching from the man from Billericke. Leading with that. Left hand again, like a screw shot. Just lifting the head back. Right hand as well. Straight down the middle. Just constant pressure all the time from Lidard. The thing is, with Oster Vega is just right in front of him, that's why, you know, there's no movement with him. If anything, get on your toes and get on your bike a little bit, move around, get a bit of space. Just, you know, recompose yourself and come back again. But the minute just flat for this in front of your dad and he's just sitting target here. It was nicknamed Balboa, Oster Vega, and the head's rocking back like Sylvester Stallone in one of those Rocky films. Nice high guard, though, turn a couple on the... The gloves, the Dutchman, but a very impressive opening round from George Lidard. The jab's been absolutely fantastic in this round for Lidard. Yeah, really, really impressive opening round. Showed us a bit of everything there, Lidard. Well, what he showed us was patience. Even though he was busy from the offset, he never rushes his work. He always got time to, 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 to no, see here, time to make the movement before he throws the shot. And that's a sign of a real quality. It's not going to carry the way, it's early in his career. That's a sign of a real quality fighter. That they always, they, however quick they get about their work, they never rush it. He always finds space to make the movement first, then throw the correct shot. Now, there's very, very much, much wrong there with his technique. He's turning from the core with every punch, and that's why that jab is so solid. He steps behind it, puts the hips and the shoulders into the punch, and that was a fantastic first round. It's too short, okay? So you know what do I want from you? Get close and work. Let your hands go. Round two, here we go. Can he follow that up? Lidard, very impressive. Opening first round. The only problem with Lidard is the football team that he supports, but we won't go there. Moving his head side to side, oh, lovely one, that. two. Beautiful work, finishing with that screw shot, lifting the head up of Ustavigo. But again, he's not going to is he? He knows he's a heavy hand, it's all smooth work. So relaxed, even when he is under fire and uh, his opponent does really come firing back. He, he looks so relaxed there, he looks so comfortable, he's happy to ride the shots and come back with his own counter. And, and that, that stems from good technique, his hands are out, his elbows are tucked in tight. So if anything comes back, he sits down, he blocks it and counters off that. And this is the kind of opponent as well that suits Lidard down to the ground. Ustavigo, very impressive record, five wins, just the one loss. And 
coming to fight, he's coming to win, and that's leaving openings, but good aggression coming from the Dutchman on the front foot, pushing Lidard yeah. back. As you can see, he's physically he's trying to push him back, though, isn't he? So he's trying to smother Lidard's work and trying to get a bit of success on that, but still, Lidard showing a different side of his game to be able to box on the move here. Sultan Tikar, tickets, uh, Lidard, Tikar's George Lidard. <laughs> Making a noise in this O2 arena, and he's entertaining them. His punches look so effortless, and the head just flies back. But again, there was that, that technique, that twist on the hips, just turning from the core. He's a very good amateur, Lidard. He won four national titles, he won the GB Tri Nations, along with lots of other very good accomplishments. He actually had a win in the amateurs against the very good Janae Bostan. So you can see the pedigree in there already from the guy. A huge credit to the commitment and the desire to win from Uster Eagle. Shipping, shipping shots there, isn't he, Barry? Uh, it's getting, it's, it's, it's not going to come through the watch here. I mean, he's, he's pinging him left, right, the centre. Usa Vigil just far too white and he cannot miss with the uppercut through the middle. And it's been those hooks, I think, have been making the Dutchman sort of open the guard up a little bit to protect the side of his head. And that's allowed Lidard to throw the shots through the middle. He takes the great shots, but the problem is that because as, as Sky's already taken, Lidard's not loading up, he can continue to throw at this pace. He's literally hitting with everything, and he is still coming forward. Ustavigo. Good right hand down, and left hook there from Lidad. But look, look, trying, you know, he's just trying to smother his mouth, he's really trying to tire him out, just, just lean in and push him. But that hasn't worked yet. And also, you've got to be careful that your resistance doesn't win. Yeah, another very good round from Lidad. So, Ustavigo, though, huge credit and respect. Oh my God. And this one here, Jack Cantrell takes on former multi-weight world champion Jorge Linares, October 21st, live on the zone. See Kevin Mitchell in the corner of Lidard at that epic fight with Linares, and here's the action from that second round. Well, let's see, it was just, a, again, another sort of show reel there for, for Lidard, just throwing every punch in the book. Oster Vigo trying to put pressure on him, but just it's all physicality, no real thought behind his work. Not really throwing punches that, uh, for the most part, just trying to lean on him, push him back. But Lidad using that push to take the lean on the back foot, throw the lovely uppercut through the middle, and those combinations with, uh, with no, no effort, but maximum success. Again, we see the Dutchman, Oster Vigo, straight on the front foot. Fights I've seen in the past of him, he's got a good engine, good high work rate. He's been in nowhere near this caliber or class. Mr. Beagle, huge credit, huge heart, shipping so much punishment. Put his hands high, there's some swelling to the left eye, but a lot of these shots creeping through. You see there, the guard a little lap, and uh, the shots creeping through. Again, Barry. That's fantastic, isn't it? And again, you know, Sky's already said, there's no effort in his work, the dad. It's just no effort at all, everything's smooth and a good rhythm to it. But, it'd be interesting to see, you know, if, no, it's a, it's a six round, you know, in another round or two, if he's still, if Oster Vigo's still be able to push forward, then the dad's tank is going to start to empty a little bit. Yeah, it could work from the Dutchman on the front foot, they're really getting stuck in trying to rough up Lidard. He got caught with a lovely right hand over the top, just missing with a right hand of his own. Mr. Vigal trying to slip in his own right uppercut again, you see, just a bit too close. And the problem is, we're trying to smother Lidad's work, which is not working for him, unfortunately. You smother your own work, so you can't let your punches go either. Lovely one, two left hook on the back foot, slides, rolls, and then lands the right hand. Lidard. Just little steps out of range, just glide side to side. Nice left hook though from Usta Vigal inside, working away. Non stop. Great tempo to this flat sky. Yeah, I think with how good Lidard is at what he does, I think this is good tactics. 
um, I think they need to rough him up. They need to upset his rhythm. They need to make this a dirty fight um, to try and get some success because obviously these first couple of rounds was just all George Woodard's way. The problem he's got here, Oscar Vigal, is that has got such good composure. And again, that could, that could ground in the good fundamentals with the, the, the tight guard. Just means you sit down. In the pressure, you don't panic, you sit down. It's good work to the body. It was an uppercut, right uppercut from Ustavigo and the left hook from Lidar. I think the quality of work that George is doing in the in the gym, some top-class sparring in the Tony Sims gym, you know, the success in that club is really oozing and filling through the younger fighters. Good work again, one, two, left hook. That's been a good combination but, for Lidar. But again, though, you know, I think also the landed with a lovely shot there, but didn't move his head and got paid back there by a, by a combination there from Lidar. You can't, you can't fuck the efforts. No, you cannot. Unbelievable. He just wants to sit in the pocket, doesn't he, and work away. Just getting caught with an uppercut, then the left hook. Good round. Huge heart and desire shown by Ustadi with the class of shot coming from Lidar. You are doing everything that we want you to do, okay? Again, just constant pressure, but no thought, real thought behind it, except for just trying to smother your work. He did try and let his hands go there a little bit more there off the vehicle, but again, little success. And the shots he did land didn't have enough weight on the punch to make a real impression in the dirt. And the dad, again, kept his composure really well, kept nice and relaxed. And if he was put, if he was pushed back, he would fire. If he didn't take a shot, he would fire okay, back with right, a combination. So I would say Austin Vigo is stood up in his corner, which is I don't know how he still stood up. I mean, no, no, he's just taking punches and punches, heavy shots he's taking continuously for the last two rounds. Continue trying to push forward, trying to tire the dad out. Hasn't happened yet. So I don't know if they're going to change their attack, but they need to do something different than they're doing right now because they're just taking a lot of shots with no rewards. Yeah, let's see how. Ustavigo approaches this fourth round. Trying to creep forward, but again, the shot selection from Lidard, you see there, just changing up the speed and the power of the shot, making it hard for the Dutchman to read. Ustavigo just taking a right hand. Oh, a nice double left hook, though, from Ustavigo. But again, he has a really good left hook, doesn't move his head and takes a right hand back there off, off Lidard. Working the body again. Yeah, so comfortable in the pocket, Lidard. Landing that right hook inside. And again, used to be able to try to double up with that left hook, tapping upstairs and dropping to the body, but covering up well, Lidard. Let this see that now, just create a little bit of space, solid jab, then go with a four straight punch combination down the line, half a step back, and then swing that big right hand over the top. Yeah, you can really use the momentum of Mr. Vigal here. Skip to the side, and like you say, just fire in with four shots. Because you know that when you take that little half a step back, he's going to walk on. That's when you dip the head and you win that right hand over the top there. Left up a cup, followed by the right hand, showing a really good chin. Who should be going over two good shots again, slipping that up a cup through. Oh, nice right hook the back from Usa Beagle. Good work from both inside the pocket here. I can't believe he's still throwing here, Usa Beagle. He's absolutely you know, he's, he's getting pounded from pillar of the post, isn't he? Completely relentless. Trying to slide in two right hooks. Just just missing the target. The jab pops out from Lidard. Straight one, two. Just skipping to the left, creating more openings. Again, what's impressive as well, Lidard not, not loading up. Even at this stage, now when he's starting to get a bit tired, you should think he should get a bit tired. He can push through, he can push, but he's not loading up. And that's long, that's allowing him to let his hands go freely. He's looking for a bit shipping, punishment, backs. Lidard into this red corner, working the body first. And again, you talk about the composure of Lidard on the back foot, showing it once more. He, he always got time, you know, he always got time to do stuff, haven't he? Like that. He always got time to have a look before he lets his hands go. Oh, 
Really leapt up a cut again, followed by the right hand. Good work. Brilliant fight. Great hard design shown from Mr. Eagle, but the work, the shot selection from Lidard has been very impressive. Listen in to the corner here. Not holding him then, he's shagged now. So he comes into that, pull that one-two out down the centre. When he comes one that, yeah? Remember the one-two was going to take the one two one-two, then come in, step one-two, bang. So I empty rolling. Everything else, but just keep working for me, right? That little burst of aggression when you had three to five shots, it fucking works. Now, the one thing we're going to do, we're ready now, the shuffle, okay? You remember the shuffle, like we stepped aside. Boom, short on that left hook. Short on that left hook, shuffle on the inside. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oi. Again, off the video, I don't know, I don't know where he gets the strength from. He just continuously piling forward, and he's landing a bit shot, but he's... The, the punches he's taking off Lidad, if Lidad can sustain a bit of success here, I wouldn't be shocked if referee stepped in, because also he was just taking heavy shot upon heavy shot. And they go straight to work again at the start of this fifth round. Sitting in the pocket, trying to impose that physical strength of his Ustavigal. Just shipping punishment once more, head and body. And he set the pattern now, hasn't he, used to be evil. And I think it's kind of, he, he doesn't want to take a back step now. He doesn't want to give Lidard that impression like this, that he's starting to roll. Good work, though, from the big, big rookie man. And the Dutchman hurt. Oh, he takes a left hook. Low right hand is a right uppercut. Really good stuff, again, from Lidard. He needed that left hook there, off the vehicle, because the referee was looking to step in. Really was, again, he sort of said that, and he sustained the attack here, might force the referee to to intervene. The problem is also Vigo keeps firing back all the time, so you have to give an opportunity to, to continue. Yeah, huge credit to Sevigo. Landing two uppercuts, he's landed a left hook there. I think the power seems to have faded out of the shots though of Ustavigo. With more arm shots. That's a nice right hook though, just sort of taking the sting out of the shot, Lidard. But the desire, the commitment, the will to win shown by Ustavigo, yeah, I mean, you have to take your hat off. He really has to take some shots. So that left up a card, beautiful shot, back. Oh, and that chop in my hand as well there from the dad. Again, it, it, I mean, it's so well educated. It's the uppercut first. He's lifting the chin of Ustavigo and he's coming back with a hook afterwards. Beautiful stuff. To be honest, he's you know, he got a tag in front of him. Nice yeah. shot, though, from the Dutchman, Ustavigo. Right hand was low from Lidard. The problem was to be good, when he throws his shots, he just gets on his toes a bit, so he just takes away the, the power of the punch. Got no grounding, and really turn into the shot. I mean, you talk about learning fights. We've had it in the first two fights against, you know, young guys and girls against experienced yeah, opponents. Big right hand from Lidard. The referee was having a look for a second there. But this has been a different kettle of fish. This has been experience from Lidard because he has a guy in front of him who's trying his best to win. Not budging, not taking a back step. Brilliant action. Good work to the body from Moose Beagle, but he's still firing back. He is incredible. He's living up to the Balboa now. Nelson. And the real life Rocky oh, jab to the body over over Ham right. Oh, there's that right uppercut again, but back comes Ustavigal with his right uppercut, doubles the shot up. So relaxed, Lidard still. He'll be feeling the pace of it, but working nicely. One, two left up, but back comes Ustavigal. Four shots working the body. See, I think the fact that the fact that Lidard keeps his shoulders relaxed allows him to let these punches go continuously. That's this into the corner beautiful, of the Dutchman. Beautiful. They're really setting it up beautiful. One more, that's all I need from you now. But you showing me in that last 30 seconds when you're throwing your hands, I will need you. Do you want this? Do you want to change your fucking life? Do you want to change your fucking life? Last round, okay? Last round, bro, okay? To do this, you've got to work. You've got to work harder than you've ever worked before. You're hurting him with that overhand right. You're hurting him with the hooks. You're hurting him with the body. Show me what you've got this round. Are you ready? Are you fucking ready? Yeah. Are you fucking ready? Don't yeah. fucking let him win this round. There, but win this fucking round for me. You've got this, brother. You are hurting him. You are fucking hurting him. Your performance is too sad.
Yeah, 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 Get behind this man and get him going. Says, do you want to change your life? Can he do so in this final round? What a fight we've witnessed so far over five rounds. I tell you what, Austin Eagle would break some hands. I, I, no, he would. Over the long distance. I wouldn't yeah. want to see him take more punches over any more rounds than he's taking now, but I mean... He would against a, you know, if he gets a fighter to load up and tense up. He, he would he would literally have a fighter exhausted after three rounds. Hundred percent, and he seems to have a very good engine. And I think, like you said, he could sustain this for eight or even ten rounds. I mean, he, he certainly would break hearts. But just too many openings. It's been the the accuracy, the speed, the variation of shot from Lidard, and just a few. Openings in defense, the guard's been too wide, the uppercuts haven't missed. Having said that, Ustavi would land in uppercuts of his own. It's good to look at from Lidad again. It all comes up that solid left hand jab. Right hand over the top. Superb stuff. Oh, really is. So much on display here. Work, movement, defense. Lack of defense, desire, will to win, fantastic stuff from both. Is that right up again, Barry? I just can't believe what Austin Eagle to choose fighting back. Just when you think it's the end, he just comes firing back with another five punches of his own. Again with a good left hook. Well, we have been blessed in the past with some brilliant fights on this segment before the bell, and this is one of those brilliant stuff from both men. Hooks being exchanged again. Good work inside from Lidard. Ustavi just pushes his man off, trying to get some range, trying to find some shots of his own. Backing him into his corner, the red corner, working the body first. Tripping up the uppercut inside. The, the rally cry in the corner it seemed to work for him. He's come on this in this round. He's more aggressive than ever. Look at this. Oh, big one, two, he's backed onto the ropes. Stuff again though from Ustavigal pushing it up back into that corner. One, two left, it spins to the left, but again the pressure from Ustavigal so impressive. Just missed him with the right. Did it land? Well, I'm sure again, but. Yeah, I thought it landed there from Ustavigal there, that right hand at the top. Oh, ships a jab. 20 seconds to go in this last round of this. Fantastic matchup between five and one Dutchman, Bas Ustavigal, Jules Lidar, 3 0 from Billericay. What a fight! Take a bow, gentlemen. That was fantastic stuff. Well, that was brilliant. That really was brilliant. Oliver Hickey there, congratulating his own charge. Fist pumping, George Lidard, the respect between the coaches there, Kev Mitchell. Brilliant fight. Really, really good fight, Barry. It's not the fight we expected, but I, when I, was, when I, was, I was watching Austin Eagle, and, and obviously I've seen the dad plenty of times before. KSI versus Tommy Fury. It promises to be the biggest night in crossover boxing history as KSI takes on Tyson Fury's brother. Logan Paul faces Dillian Dennis. On the same card, live on the zone pay-per-view on October 14th. And there is the man from Billericay. There is the man from the Netherlands. He could be so proud of himself. They both can. Fantastic fight. Promoter Eddie Hearn, all smiles. Coach Oliver Hickey, like I say, extremely proud of his charge, you can say. I didn't see this fight going the distance you know, prior to it happening because I thought Austin Eagle's too easy to hit. I thought if he's too easy to hit, Lidad will eventually, if he doesn't knock him out, will wear him down and stop him. What we didn't think or didn't know was how physically tough and crazy a little bit Austin Eagle was. Well, our MC, David Diamante, is ready with the decision of this epic fight.
Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has requested we give it a nice round of applause out here for both of these fighters, please. After six rounds here at the O2, we go to referee Lee Every. Scorecard at Reef 59 55 for your winner. He's still undefeated, George the Billericke Bumper Leonard. Well, we can get our breath back after that one. That was special. That really was a very good fight. Yeah, George Lidard goes to 4 0. Fantastic fight. Really was, wasn't it, Barry? Yeah, it wasn't bad, so I gotta be honest. It wasn't, it wasn't the fight I expected, but I, I'm glad you we saw it. Down like a yo -yo. It was unbelievable stuff. That, that, that Dutchman's an absolute maniac. He really is. But this shows, uh, for me, Sky, real good composure. Yeah, definitely. He stayed relaxed throughout the entire.